Right, so Send of a Woman. Send of a Woman is uh, a movie made in 1992. Uh, it stars uh, Al Pacino. I think, did Al Pacino win an Oscar for this? I think Al Pacino might have won an Oscar for this. Um, he is really good in it. So it's, uh, Al Pacino's always good, but uh, he's, he's particularly, I think, good in this movie. Um, let me see. What, uh, see if I can get... Where's a good, just succinct IMBD? Anyway, Al Pacino um, plays a, uh, it's, oh, it's directed by Martin Brest. Um, you can look him up and see what other movies Martin Brest has uh, directed. Uh, and it, it, side by side to Al Pacino, it stars Chris O'Donnell. Um, Basically, this movie, l let me just say, first of all, this is an adult movie in a sense that it deals with real issues. It deals with values. It deals with um, characters that are having to face real choices um, and, and make adult decisions about life. I, you know, I don't agree with kind of all the philosophical messages that the movie has. But it's, it's a, it's a, it's like you watch this movie and you're like, all right, you know, they're treating me like a grown up, like an adult. It's, it's, uh, you know, they, they, they're actually, there's actually discussion. They're actually talking. There's a setup where some values at stake. And there's life is at stake. That's always important. And again, it's not a stupid dumb action movie. It's not uh, filled with gratuitous violence or gratuitous anything, really. It's just, you know, a, a, a drama. It doesn't really have a plot. Uh, but it's, a, it's, it's really just about characters. It's about two characters. It's about Al Pacino plays a army vet um, who's a, 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 a colonel uh, who has had a, looks like a very successful military career, but was involved in an accident. I won't say more than that. And that accident caused him to le lose his sight. So he is blind. Chris O'Donnell is a student, young, whole life in front of him, who comes from a kind of a working class family uh, who is attending a prep school under scholarship and who's surrounded by rich, you know, uh, spoiled brats. And, uh, you know, uh, his character witnesses a prank that some of these rich, spoiled brats, uh, uh, you know, a prank that they play on the headmaster. And now the issue is, will he tell on them? Will he tell on them? And the movie is trying to make the argument that integrity means he won't. Now, I'm not sure that is the case. I'm not sure they're worth not telling on. I'm not sure the code of values here is a rational code of values. But that doesn't matter. What matters is he has a real choice to make as, an, 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 as a young adult, as a, as a teenager. This is, a, uh, this is a, a, a choice that you can see would be difficult for him socially, in terms of his own value system. But on top of that, the principal threatens him that if he does not spill the beans, he will not give him a recommendation to Harvard. Uh, he is, otherwise, he's the guy he's going to recommend for Harvard. He's the scholarship kid who's going to get to go to Harvard. So what does he do? Now, in the meantime, he is babysitting this vet, and this vet is, uh, has decided he wants to kill himself. He's going to go to New York, have an amazing weekend of great meals, drinking, and uh, sex, and then shoot himself. Uh, and the drama hinges on this choice for him to kill himself. He's depressed. He feels guilty. He's given up on life, and, and this is good. He has no purpose. He, he, he sees no purpose in his life. 
and he sees no art, even though his personality is very outgoing, he can be charming, he's very charismatic, very charismatic. You can tell why this guy made it to Colonel. He might have made a lot of mistakes when he was young, but he's very charismatic, but he's given up on life. And the movie really shows what happens when you have no purpose. Now, so a lot of it is, is very well done, very well set up, brilliantly acted. I'd say there are two ideal, uh, flaws here, but they come at the ideas level. At the level of a movie, I, I think the movie works and is enjoyable and interesting. The flaw is one that the colonel never really finds a purpose. The purpose he finds at the end, I don't think I'm giving up too much, he doesn't kill himself in the end, is just not a real purpose. It's not the kind of purpose that would keep you alive. Uh, and it, it skirts that. It, it doesn't really deal with what really a human beings need in terms of purpose. He doesn't find a, something that he really loves other than life itself. But that's not purpose enough. He's given up on life because he has no purpose. So it's a little weak on that. But, you know, he makes the choice to live. And the choice to live is crucial. And once he makes the choice to live, it's interesting how his persona changes, his attitude towards the world changes, and his ability to shape his own life changes, that his ability to impact the world out there changes. So it just shows the power of choosing life and dedicating yourself to it. As I said, the kid has to make this choice about squealing or not squealing. And again, this is tied into integrity. The final scene is good. The way the other kids respond is, is, is basically good. I mean, uh, you know, um, if you have a, uh, an asshole who has done something bad and now you're supposed to have, be the, uh, do the honorable thing and not squeal on him, uh, but the price of not squealing on him is not going to Harvard, I think you should squeal, right? I mean, uh, uh, there's no integrity here when you're talking about somebody who is not a good person. Uh, and you're not lying, you're telling actually the truth. So I, I don't completely buy into the values as represented by the movie. But it's strong and it's powerful and it does a good job at it. So I recommend the movie. It's a good movie. Well acted, well directed, well made to the extent that I can tell. And has good values presented in it or at least causes you to think. And this is a huge value a movie can do causes you to think about what the values should be. Let's put it this way. Whether you agree with the values or not is less relevant to the fact that the movie is internally consistent. That is, they play out the values as they've accepted them in the movie, which is the only thing you can accept of a, uh, you know, it's what you should expect for a work of art. You don't expect a work of art to line up with your values perfectly. That would be, I mean, it's just not going to happen. What you expect of a work of art is to reproduce the values of the director effectively, of the writer effectively, so that, and, and, and you can get pleasure from seeing that concretized. His values, not yours. You will find some in it, but part of what I enjoy about this is this clarity of values in the center of a woman. And clarity of values is a value in and of itself.